list wall. So how it works is any guy who has potential love interest with one of us comes on the wall and gets his name up there. Um, anytime he does something bad, he gets a strike. As you can see, there's multiple strikes. Um, you also get a star if you do something good. And you can r erase one strike by getting five stars. But as you see, we have a couple of these highlighted strikes. Those highlighted strikes means they really did something bad and these can never be removed no matter how many stars the person has. Um, three strikes and the person is out of our lives, as you can tell, but their strike list still goes on. Um, they can potentially remove strikes, as I said, by getting more and more stars. For example, as this person has a lot of strikes, you'd have to get 5, 10, 15, and 20 stars to remove himself back to one strike. As I said again, these strikes with the highlighted mark can never be removed. Good luck, boys. Good luck, boys. I mean, aren't you desperate to get on that wall so that you can be one of 13 guys that she would consider dating? Aren't you just itching to be ranked and scored and have your merits and failings discussed by her and all her friends? Aren't you excited to discover that it takes five good deeds for you to cancel out one mistake because, you know, you're a man, so good things you do only count 20% for some reason. But aren't you grateful for the opportunity to earn her approval? Somebody sent me this clip, apparently it went crazy viral on TikTok, and they wanted to know my thoughts about it, and I have heaps. First of all, the lack of self-awareness in this video is so amusing to me. These girls, when they posted this, probably thought that this chart showed how enlightened they were when it comes to having standards, how much they appreciate good, decent guys how high their self-esteem is that they don't tolerate men who are disrespectful, when in reality, this video shows the exact opposite. Remember, you do not judge a woman based on her words, you judge her on her actions. Now, when you watch this clip, does it really seem to you that the girls actually dislike these guys who keep doing the wrong thing. Listen again to this section, how much the girls giggle whenever it's mentioned one of the guys doing something wrong. Three strikes and the person is out of our lives, as you can tell, but their strike list still goes on. Um, so a guy does three bad things, he gets three strikes, and supposedly he is removed from the girl's life. I mean, that is what they said. And yet, the two guys that she pointed to have more than three strikes. How did that happen? Wasn't he removed from their life? I don't think the girls are actually aware of this, but this chart actually proves how much attention women give to the bad boy jerk men. Even after getting three strikes, these girls are obviously still spending time with these guys, which is why they keep racking up more and more strikes. She even said explicitly that their strike list still goes on even after he is supposedly cut off out of their life. You see, these women, they can't help but keep paying attention to these bad boy guys, charting all his mistakes, paying him all this attention, keeping track of his strikes. If this guy was genuinely no longer a dating prospect, he would actually be erased, no longer discussed. But he continues to occupy these girls' attention and they giggle every time he is discussed. Gentlemen, this is a hard truth to swallow, but when it comes to generating attraction in women, the worst place for you to be is neutral. It is better to have women hate you than to ignore you, to not be aware of your existence. You see, women's attraction is measured by a man's capacity to generate emotions in her. Now, for high quality women who are emotionally well-adjusted, have high self-esteem, she wants positive emotions. For low-quality women, they want positive emotions too, but failing that, she will settle for negative emotions. If you make her feel sad, angry, insecure, at least you're making her feel, demonstrating your masculine strength by having an impact on her. She registers that. This man is a strong presence in my psyche. What he does, what he says, that really impacts me. Now, 
Obviously, you want to be the guy that she likes, but I'm telling you, if a woman had to sleep with either a man who she passionately hates or a man that she feels no emotions for, positive or negative, she just doesn't even notice him, she will choose the man that she hates every single time. That way, she can at least play out her romance novel fantasy of, you know, taming the wild man. So despite what they're saying in this video, this chart proves that those men who have the three plus strikes are still very much present in these girls' consciousness. They're still viable options for hookups, for dating. Now, the advice that I give on my channel is about making a positive impact on women, making them feel good, showing positive, healthy masculinity. But I would be lying to you if I said to you that it was never a good idea to occasionally be a bit of a jerk. Now, some of you guys might remember the old school flirting technique that they called negging, where you say something mildly offensive to a woman, you know, to sort of tease her. You say like, oh, your voice is really loud. Or you ask her, you know, is that uh, color your natural hair color? Just, just something like that to make her feel a little bit insecure. Now, the reason that this works as a flirting technique is because women are used to men constantly falling over themselves trying to make her feel good. And so it turns most men into like jesters performing for her or servants, you know, constantly doing her favors. But the guy who is comfortable teasing her, you know, insulting her in a sort of playful way, he actually stands out because he is demonstrating that he is different to the other men. He is so confident in his value that he doesn't need to simp over her in order to get in her good graces, you know? Her approval of him is just assumed. Now, there are 13 guys on this chart and you know, judging by the number of strikes they're all receiving, it would be a fair assumption to say that most of these guys are jerks. Which begs the question, why are these women obsessing over and paying attention to all of these jerks? What you've got to understand is that this isn't a bug. That's a feature. If you want to get on that wall, if you want to be considered a genuine sexual prospect, then women have to notice you. And nice, it doesn't get you noticed. I know that sounds bad, but don't shoot the messenger. Don't blame me. If women wanted to change this, then they need to stop sexually rewarding jerks. That's actually going to affect real change. I mean, there are probably hundreds of guys that these women interact with, that they have classes with, that they, you know, go to parties to uh, the same parties. They're in the extended social circle. But those guys, those average guys, are never going to be on the chart because those girls, they don't notice nice. And when they do... They don't value it. Remember what the chart said? You make a mistake, you do something dumb or stupid or selfish, and that gets you a strike. But it takes five good deeds in order to remove that strike, in order to get you back to neutral. That is how little value women place on the nice things that men do for them. Because nice men doing nice things is in abundance for women. All of these girls probably have orbiters, you know, men who are in the friend zone, who are desperate to do them favors. But the thing about human psychology is that when something is in abundance, you don't value it. Or you just value it like a little bit, like 20%. Now, of course, the higher the quality the woman, the more she's going to appreciate niceness, nice qualities in men. Those women do exist. I'm talking about overall trends here. But if it's true that women are constantly surrounded by nice men doing nice things, why then do we get this endless messaging in our culture about how toxic men are? Isn't that proof that most men are jerks? No, you're still not getting it. Most men out there are nice, decent guys, but that's not who women notice. They complain about toxic jerk men because that's the sort of men that they pay attention to. That's who they date. That's who they are sexually <laughs> rewarding. So seriously, do not buy into this propaganda that says that men are awful, bad people. The fact that women keep having negative experiences with men says more about them and their dating preferences than it does about the quality of the average man. So looking at this video, this chart that these girls created, 
what I see is how much attention women give to men who are jerks. And while I do not recommend going down that path, I can understand the temptation because for a lonely guy whose good qualities have never been appreciated, I can understand why he might prefer being hated to being ignored. I get that. I have compassion. But still, I ultimately think that it's a cop-out. On this channel, we're about building healthy masculinity, healthy attraction, generating desire from high-quality women who would never fall for the bad boy jerk types because they have too high a self-esteem. Because from my perspective, any woman who would actually date a jerk, she isn't the kind of woman that's worth dating. So by following the positive path, trust me, you're not really missing out on anything. Here's an interesting question. As a man, should you be seeking social feedback from other people, you know, wondering how you come across to them? Or should you ignore the opinions of other people and just, you know, focus on yourself, back your own judgment? You know, that's what being a man is all about. Or is there a balance between the two of these? Really interesting topic. It's the subject of my latest Patreon video. It's quite a long one because there's a lot to go into here. I really recommend if this topic interests you, go and sign up on my Patreon so you can check that out, plus all of my other exclusive content. It must be 170 videos at this point. It's just $5 a month. I post there twice a week. I think the value is absolutely amazing. We have a great community, great discussions. I'd love to see you over there so you can be a part of it.